Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for clicking on this video. Thank you for your time and for just being here. Today's video is going to be a little bit more fun. We're not doing any makeup tutorials today. We're saving that for Makeup Monday. So if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe because every Monday I post a really bomb makeup look not to tune my own horn but today i really wanted to talk about my five favorite nude lipsticks from the drugstore i have them all here for you guys if you watch me you know that i absolutely love live breathe eat new lipsticks literally i'm pretty sure i eat my, my lipsticks because i don't ever take them off when i eat but that's another story. <laughs> so I really wanted to share an updated version of my go-to favorite lip combos. I'm also going to show you guys my go-to lip liners. I tend to be a creature of habit and really use the same lipsticks over and over. So I wanted to share the ones that I just really gravitate towards when I just want a nude lip combo. As you can see, these are all bullet lipsticks. So if you guys want to see my favorite liquid lipsticks, definitely let me know and I can film a different video for that. But that's what we're going to do today. So I hope you guys are excited for today's video. These are products that you can get at the drugstore, Walmart or Ulta, um, Target and things like that. So grab your cafecito, grab your notes because you're going to want them. And then let's go ahead and start with my favorite nude lipsticks from the drugstore. I feel so weird with this hairstyle and like the shirt. I feel like I'm going to go to a party, but um, obviously I'm not going to go anywhere because I am a homebody. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started. I love these. Oh my gosh, you guys. These are just like my go-to creamy lipsticks very pretty nudes you will notice that all of these are very like beigey toned none of these are pinky colors i do have some favorite like lip pink lipsticks but i didn't want to include them in this video maybe i can do another series where i can do like my favorite pink nude lipsticks or something like that i don't know we'll think about that in the future but what i'm going to do first is i am going to apply a little bit of powder onto the lips just so I can mute them out. And we can get a nice base to the lips. I really like the way my makeup turned out today. It's very like pinky, but it's a vibe. Okay, so really quickly, I am just going to share with you the lip liners that I personally love, that I recommend, that if you are my skin tone, I think these pair super well with literally almost every nude-ish type of lipstick. So the first two are from LA Girl. These are really, really, really creamy. They're almost like a gel consistency. I have the shade Maple Glaze and Gingerbread. If you see them on the packaging, they look very similar, but they're not. Let me swatch them for you. So here's the shade Maple Glaze. I know the lights are going to wash them out, so just take that in. To consideration when looking at these lipsticks and then this one is gingerbread but they're definitely different I don't think you can tell the difference they're different if you see them in person trust me one of my favorite favorite lip liners and I just discovered this not too long ago it's the Morphe sweet tea which is why mine is still big um, this one is really good and honestly they're all very like similar but they have a difference and they make <laughs> a difference when you apply them to the lips I know they look so similar now that I'm swatching them I'm like okay you sound like a crazy woman another one of my favorites is the BFF 3 from Colourpop now I guess technically you can't get this one at Walmart or Target but I know you can get it at Ulta so that one is a little bit deeper than the rest of them but still such a pretty color and then the last one is downtown beauty by nyx as you can see mine is a little bit shorter because i do use it so much this one is a more deep coffee brown it's very similar to bff3 but i feel like this one has a little bit more of a deeper brown and that one has more like hazelnuts undertones I don't know how to describe it. So I think what I want to do is I'm going to swatch them for you guys and then I'm going to show you how they look like with the lip liner. So pray for my lips because they are going to go through it. So here are my five favorite lipsticks. Oh my gosh, this was so hard because I have so many favorite lip 
nude lip combos but these are just like the ones that i really 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 like so first things first is the milani tease lipstick i feel like these are super trending right now on tiktok and i was like i did it first <laughs> i'm just kidding but this one is a new formula from milani these are a matte finish they're very creamy very velvety they glide on the lips and they're just beautiful they come in one, two, three, four, five, six different shades, including this one. And they're just worth every single penny. I'm going to go with Milani. As you can see, it glides like nobody's business. So that is what the lipstick looks like. Now, I always use mine with lip liners. One, I feel like it really makes my lips look nice and juicy and big. And two... Just, I like the way it looks. So my favorite lip liner to pair it with this one is Downtown Beauty. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that. I typically apply this first and then go over with the lipstick, but I don't think it matters. And here it is. Oh my goodness. I could wear this every single day. I feel like it's the perfect amount of nude with like brown. It's perfect for fall too, honestly. I love this and I wear it all, all the time, especially because the formula is so good. It's so creamy. Okay, so next up, let's do, let's do this one because I really love this one. The Morphe Commit. That is what it looks like. It's such a pretty beige. Now, this one, because it is a lighter color, I do like to pair it with a darker lip liner. So for that, I'm going to go in with the ColourPop BFF3 lip liner. But first, let me show you guys how it looks on the bare lips. So as you can see, this is not the creamiest. It is a little tugging on the lips. But I've also had this forever, so I don't know if it's just like drying out. So there it is. It looks really pretty, honestly, on its own. I feel like it's just... A very pretty go-to uh, nude lip but I like to be extra so now I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop BFF3 lip liner and here is nude lip combo number two. Oh my gosh I love this I think I'm gonna turn down the lights um, a little bit because I feel like it's washing it out and these might look super similar to you guys but I promise you if you try these they're gonna be all so different even if it's just by hair but they will be a little bit different okay so I turned down the lights a little bit so I think you are able you should be able to see the definition of the lipstick a little bit more love this lip combo and it's very matte but it's still very comfortable I think out of all the lipsticks that I'm showing you today this has to have the most matte formula okay let's move on to lipstick number this let's go in with the nyx suede this one is super ultra creamy so i'm going to take that and um swatch it so as you can see this one definitely has a little bit more of a pink undertone and as you can see it's super creamy it just glides on the lips And here is the lipstick. As you can see, it does wash me out a little bit. So that's why I personally just like to add lip liners onto my lipsticks because they just bring life to my lips a little bit more. So really pretty and it just it's a classic, classic nude. So with this one, because it is such a light color, I don't like to go too heavy handed with my lip liners. So for that, I am going to use the Maple Glaze by LA Girl. And this one just gives it a beautiful contrast and really makes the lipstick stand out. And here it is. As you can see, it's very subtle, but it still almost gives a difference between like blending into my skin and then making it seem like I have lipstick on does that make sense so this is going to be probably the most like natural ish lip combo if you don't want to overdo it and this together just looks so so pretty and honestly anybody can pull it off okay so next is this lipstick by l'oreal 
out of all the ones that I have here, this is the one that I really want you guys to try out. Again, if you are medium to tan skin, this is going to look so pretty on you. If you're lighter, this might look a little deeper, like a deeper brown, but it will still look beautiful on your skin if you are lighter complexion. So this one is the Honey Matte by, again, L'Oreal. And with this one, I love to pair it with the Sweet Tea Lip Liner. Honestly, this lip liner is just like my absolute go-to. This one pairs really well with all of them. So you don't have to pick up every lip liner i would just pick this one up and really pair them with all of these because it just goes well so let's go ahead and apply the lipstick first as you can see super creamy and can i just say that l'oreal has some of the best smelling lipsticks out there this one is a little bit warmer really pretty color and i don't feel like this one blends into with I don't feel like this one blends in with my skin too much, but still, I like to add a lip liner, so let's go in with the Morphe Sweet Tea. Okay, and here is the lip combo. What do you guys think of this one? I love this one. Okay, I say that about every single one of them, but what can I say? I love new lipsticks. Last but not least is the L'Oreal Ultra Nude Lipstick. The name says it all. And this one is gorgeous. Let's go ahead and swatch it. That is the lipstick. Such a gorgeous color. I feel like this one is the prettiest of them all on its own without a lip liner. But of course, it's me, Karina. I have to be extra. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go in with the nude lip liner by Ellie Girl, and this one is called Maple Glaze. And here is the L'Oreal Ultra Nude Lipstick. Again, just really pretty basic nude lipstick with very little shine, which is why I love these. So definitely let me know which one was your favorite. Did you see a difference? Can you see a difference? I can definitely tell a difference. So... Yeah, I'm just going to leave this lipstick on for the rest of the day. So there you have it. Those are my absolute most favorite go-to mad nude lipsticks from the drugstore. All of these are affordable. So make sure you check them out. I will have all the names of the lipsticks as well as the lip liners. And I will be sure to leave the lip combos down below as in order that um, I apply them in case you guys just want to add them to your cart if it's an add if it's an add to the cart kind of day for you so hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video thank you all so much for watching let me know if you want me to continue this series I can do pinks I can do fall lipsticks just whatever you guys want I am here to please you thank you for watching I love you all stay safe stay blessed have an amazing day and until next time I will see you all in my next video Bye.